Libra. <clears throat> Libra, Libra, welcome to the tower. We're going to do a, just a general message today. 3D, 4D, 5D shadow card and an earth magic. Okay. Just a general open reading. We're not doing any questions. We're just going to see what the universe brings to us, okay? And I'm just switching up the angles here so you guys, people are asking me how I do these spreads. So, there we go. Ooh, sacrifice too. Sacrifice and revenge. Now these came out for somebody else earlier. I can't remember who because I can't focus on nothing when I'm doing this stuff. All right. This is a little bit of a shuffle. Let's see what Earth Magic has to say. Too many. Fog. All right, let's see what the angels, the celestials, let's see what the 5D has to say about this. What is going on on the 5D part of these connections? What's going on on the 40? What's everybody thoughts and telepathic connections about what's going on here? Oh, she messed up. Well, yeah, sometimes I cut my fingers cooking, too. I mean, when you cook dinner every night, I mean, just statistically, sooner or later. All right, what's going on in the 3D narrative here, right? What's going on in the 3D? What's the narrative being pushed? What is it everybody kind of sees is going on? Or what does everybody think they see is going on? Sometimes the 40 reveals the truth of the matter. I don't know, 66 means a lot to you, but here we go. I got the six of wands. There was a victory. But I feel like you had to kind of come out on your own from this victory, right? Learn how to tend your own garden, things of that nature, really seizing into your own energy. This says 13 in the background here. I get a sense of definitely a victory with the divine feminine energies for sure. But it could go either way. You guys all know that, right? I got the jack of pentacles here right a real manifesting energy coming in wanting to make moves focused with this air energy here like my thoughts and words are really focused i do see that this is the ten the end of a building cycle for you right you've built something here right weaved it all together see she's all up in that dream catcher there weaved something all together and built something here i feel like you've gone through a lot of rites of passage on this journey um and creating all this and learning how to do it right coming into the knowledge to create like that and you might not know that people around you see it too but they do if it's on the 3d right i feel like you've gained a lot of sense in how to defend yourself here right this is a season of death and rebirth in certain areas you're thinking about new seeds to plant here 
now that you've completed a cycle and building a cycle and building in one area you're thinking about planting seeds in other areas you do have a warning here with the seven of cups you know that's always the warning of if you sip from every cup that is how you get poisoned make sure that you really take a sense to see whether somebody is genuine make sure you actually pay attention to people who are offering you ideas and suggestions really look at them is anything that they're offering you worked out for them those are the people you need to look at people who are offering advice in areas Areas that they have mastered right areas that they have figured out you don't want someone who can't help you give you an idea that's super duper expensive but they can't even help you do anything with it and you're gonna be the one that's putting in all the mm, watch out watch out watch out watch out okay pay attention pay attention there's snakes the, there's been a lot of snake messages lately actually it took here at the end here you got the nine of cups right at the end here it's a lot of really focus on things that you can do on your own right things that bring you joy to do on your own as well right don't let talking people talk you into things that are just kind of fun or whatever things that you are truly passionate about that bring you joy in accomplishing is what you need to be focusing on there all righty on the 5d i do see an energy of coming together and coming out into the sun right a bit of putting down the burdens for a while moving on from some energies learning how to defend your energy here and i do see though that there is some warning about some deceptions that may have been going on right either deceptions that you have that you need to atone and answer for or deceptions that someone else has been doing there is still deceptions that you are right to be putting up some boundaries from all right we got the sacrifice here and revenge not really getting this but for those of you who are thinking about revenge you're going to want to sacrifice that need you're going to want to let go of that timeline because that's going to lead you to nothing but a ton of drama and a nervous breakdown where you're running all over town acting crazy right you don't want to go there so you're going to want to sacrifice that revenge timeline one but for other people i feel like there is let go of the idea of atoning to people that you have been trying to atone to for so long i feel like there is an energy around you that just is it's happy to watch you suffer and nothing you do for them will be enough so you need to sacrifice them as well there's sacrifice you need to give up something toxic some sort of toxic energy around revenge that's attached to a person i feel like you don't want to and you don't see what I, I, don't, I don't see, like, see, that deception card was all the way at the end of the 5D, and the reason I'm having a hard time putting this together is because I don't even think you really see what it is that's causing the energy, right? I don't think you can even see who hate who is hating on you, who wants revenge on you, right? What did you do? I love you guys. You know, like, you guys are Aries opposites. You guys are just as, it's like, like we're, we're spontaneously running around. You guys are floaty as well. So you tend to forget a lot of things, right? So you got the veiled fog here. And I feel like there is just some deceptions that are going to be coming out. And with this veiled fog card is it's just sit still for a second. Like, put this in your mind. Let this be a seed. Just think about that for a second. But don't, don't make any moves regarding this just yet wait till the sun burns away the fog wait till those deceptions come out so that you can make clear decisions like it's like you're gonna need to make a decision revolving this but until you're 100 percent sure on what it is until the truth burns away any confusion right don't make any huge moves all right so those are the messages that i got for y'all today um, I believe they all came through pretty clear. Buttons and bells, y'all, if this helps you out. Blessed be all those who walk these weird and windy paths with me. I love y'all, and I'll be back just as soon as I can, I promise.